Dr. West, I'm interested in finding out. I want to do just a little bit, not too much. I'm conservative. So what would you recommend? I don't want to be out here, but I want to just keep that liveliness to it. What, what would you recommend for me? Well, uh, you, the, the key with all these things is it really starts with a thorough evaluation. So what I would recommend is make an appointment with us. Come in, and we'll assess you, and we'll figure out what are your goals. Uh, and we can show you photos of a range of patients, uh, what for surgeries, what surgeries they have chosen, what implants they've chosen, so that you can start to get an idea of it. If you're talking about implants, we'll show you a range of implants. There's a huge range. There's hundreds of choices. We'll show you anything from a very small implant to a more moderate to a large implant, and we'll let you try them on. And you'll get a sense very quickly what makes sense for you. You know, it's, it's like the porridge. You're going to find out what's too small, what's too big, and what's just right. All right. And then, Dr. Gowan, the question my husband's going to want to know, he's going to like that, but the cost. Because I just want to do a little something, what can I do that will be cost effective for my pocketbook. So, you know, can you tell me about cost-effective procedures? That's what he wants to know. <laughs> so, so certainly the breast augmentation is not going to break the bank, but when you add more procedures such as lifts and otherwise, it's going to cost more because it takes more time. I can't really give you a good assessment until we choose which procedure would work best for you, and then we can work out financing options that we have available through our office that can make it available to any person. Stay with us for tomorrow's STARS.